Hello, namaste, and welcome to my channel, Spiritual Gina, where I encourage you to pursue your soul. My name is Gina. Today I have for you guys an update from Aries Sun, Aries Moon, Aries Rising, and this will just be your current situation, your current energy, current challenge, current outcome. I'm going to go ahead and jump to the reading, and it is timeless, by the way, as well. All right, so current energy for Scorpio, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> current energy for Aries Sun, Aries Moon. Aries rising. Current energy. Okay. We have here servant as your current energy, Aries. We have delight in serving others with a free and loving heart. Shadow attribute. Using the lack of money as an, using the lack of money as an excuse not to move forward with life. So and we also have beggar on the bottom of the deck here. Ooh, with vampire here as well and student as well dependence i'm switching the shadow attributes now dependence on others to the exclusion of effort so basically depending on others so much that you don't try uh arrogance and the pursuit of destructive knowledge unwillingness to translate knowledge into action i can fall into that so many times i don't share anything um and then we have vampire here depleting others of depleting others for your physical survival chronic complaining and codependency so complaining i i'm really seeing the complaining card here because with the vampire especially because using lack of money as an excuse means you complain so really being over overly complainative i do believe that you are very free and given so giving soul aries but you also may tend to complain a lot and that may put others off um but you do again serve others with a very very open very free heart and that is very admired, but we do just have um, kind of like an excess of not negative emotions, but just a lot of negative emotions. We also have father here, possibly um, dealing with father wounds, talking to your father, communicating with your father. I was just thinking about my father, actually, so that's pretty cool. Um, we have light attributes, talent for creating and supporting life, positive guiding light with a tribal unit, within a tribal unit, excuse me. Then we have shadow attributes, dictatorial control abuse of authority and i'm going to also put in here absence so i don't know i we current energy aries it just feels like weird i don't know we also have thief bottom of the deck here we have sheds light on the potential wealth within you that can never be stolen so like you have a wealth of knowledge knowledge a wealth of money existing in, within you already if you really are focused on money if you're concerned about money um you have it already within you so just accessing that information what's that version coming out here as well fear of intimate union is coming to mind um we have symbolic purity of heart and spirit yeah i, I do feel like you have a very pure heart a very pure spirit but it just it's a little bit distorted because you are very heavily entrenched in maya i'm needing to possibly employ some manifestation skills you need to work with the universe with your guide with your angels to understand this lack mindset because i just feel like you're worried about money all right current challenge please for aries i think that was a challenging card no aries sun aries moon all right we have convention and we have resourcefulness with the crow here or the raven i'm not really sure what that's supposed to be but we have resourcefulness and we which is uh cancer and we have here um convention and i'm not sure what sign that is but i'm reading these cards here as in your challenge position your challenge position excuse me is that you can have a challenge with going within and, and finding your inner source of wealth You'd rather do things the conventional way instead of getting creative. Um, very masculine energy here, very fixed, very focused. Um, lack of innovation, lack of um creativity almost possibly as well. Really working with your create your the, the <laughs> really working with your creative energy um and cultivating that, cultivating the wealth that you have with inside of you internally having enthusiasm we have speculation here with third eye needing to see things for what they truly are being very objective um 
Subjectivity seems to be the trend lately and yeah, it's very important but it's also like you need to also try to have some objectivity in your life as well. I don't know, for me, I'm just on the fence about it because yes, I do believe in the subjective experience but we also need to attune ourselves to um, obje objectivity and objective experience as well. And maybe you can find more abundance in objectivity, I'm not really sure, but I know creativity tends to be more so subjective, more so individualistic. Um, your energy for me, Aries, just feels a little lost, maybe. Like, your attributes here, your current energy, it feels grounded, but we have servant and thief. So positions, not below humanity, but positions that just people wouldn't really want to find themselves in, typically. So maybe you are in a position that you don't normally find yourself in, and it's a little bit weird for you, a little bit scary. But again, going within and finding your inner source of resourcefulness. And if it's hindering you, abandon, abandoning convictions, conventions, excuse me, abandoning traditional conventions and just embracing a new way of being, devoting yourself to, di to this discovery of sorts to an enterprise, to a business that you have possibly. But I just feel like you're worried about money. You're worried about finances, dough. Um, and it's really all about prana, chi, life force, you know? And, and it's, again, cliche a little bit-ish, I guess. But we are, first and first, we are energetic beings, okay? Um, we come to this world we don't remember anything right so it's like it's a little bit it is very conventional to say that we only have one lifetime only have access to one perspective but we can expand ourselves and see things from a different perspective a different light a different light um and yeah your energy feels weird uh aries i just want to call you scorpio by the way too may have scorpio prominent in your chart no scorpio Clarifying, I'm clarifying your challenge here. We have building blocks. So this is like practicality. But like building blocks can also be practical energy, but pra practical energy, practical steps towards a goal of yours. It doesn't matter what the goal is. It can be being a tarot reader like I am, you know, or being um, a spiritual leader, just whatever. Your energy just feels a little bit like like oscillating up and down, up and down, up and down. Looking for a second chance, possibly. Yeah, being overwhelmed, feeling overwhelmed. Discernment, using your discernment. And being just um, open to spirit. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and do your card of advice. We have new life is slipping right on out. Yeah, I'm just sensing that you should step into a new frame of mind, a new arena. And this will be happening more quickly than you thought. Especially because I do believe that you are worried about money. and But it's, it's not about money because it's like if you don't have money, there's not something wrong internally. But there's like there's a belief that you have around it that you should address. Especially if, if you truly believe that we manifest our realities, that we create our realities with our thoughts. And there is no evidence for that. Well, actually there is subjective evidence there is no objective evidence for this um so yeah overall advice please for aries sun moon rising timeless overall advice please for aries sun moon rising i'm just sensing like a, a hopeless energy but you know better almost we have the pope here which is the commitment card staying devoted staying committed um, we have tradition, structure, and we have building blocks as well, which is tradition, structure, and convention here as well. Um, a bridge between two worlds, contact with the divine, um, really um, leaning into your connection with the divine at this time. Overcoming the physical, overcoming the physical meaning overcoming materiality, um, a new dimension, stepping into a new dimension, and this is Taurus energy. So yeah, I hope you found this meant to be helpful. Your energy, again, felt just really a, a, a little stagnant feeling, you know, possibly in your solar plexus chakra, your lower chakras in general. 
so doing some healing work around that i do offer reiki for that and also other services in the description box down below you can follow me on instagram tiktok etc thank you so much for watching namaste